Hello, today I will show you how you can uh, validate HTML from using AngularJS code. First of all, you uh, I will create a customer entry form and apply different types of validation in this form. Uh, this form is uh, created using uh, Bootstrap. So I'm, uh, I will copy the code and before starting uh, the task, uh, you have to create a folder here I have created AJS from validation and collect these three files and uh, store here three files are angular.js to, uh, to apply angular.js code and uh, two CSS files to apply bootstrap class bootstrap.css and bootstrap theme.css now I can start my work First of all, uh, open a new HTML document and uh, the code I have uh, written here, I will paste in this location. So this is a very simple customer form and uh, here I added the three files that I have told you to collect before starting the work. Okay, next uh, here is a form name cursed form and no validate means it will omit any type of browser validation because uh, here we will do all validation using AngularJS code. Next there is a name field which is required, an email field which is also required and contact long field which is also a required field and there is a gender field which is drop down and also required but uh, here I am I will not use any validation because I have to choose any of the any one of this field to submit the form next there is a checkbox name regular and a button okay this is our form and uh, save the file save the files here a name keep the name of the file as customer form customer form ok now check the output of the file before applying any validation ok this is our form there is no validation Okay, go for the next step, step 2, add ng model directive for each form field and ng disable for button. So, I will add ng directive here, ng, sorry, ng model equal to name ng model equal to email ng model equal to contact ng model equal to gender ng model equal to regular and another task i have to do you add ng disable for button so i will add it here ng disable equal to dust form which is our form name dot um, invalid 
dollar in value. Okay, now save the file and check the output. Here you can see our button is visible now because it will be enabled after validating each field. Now go for the next step, step 3. Add the CSS code to indicate the valid and invalid field. Copy and add the CSS in the top of the head section. Okay. Here, uh, input dot ng invalid dot ng dirty. That means when a user, after opening the form, if the user types something and it is invalid, then uh, the box will be show this light pink color as a background color. And if it is valid, it will show light green. And uh, and a span tag will be used to show the error message that I haven't added yet. I will add it now. And step four is to add the span tag in each uh, required field to show the required message. So copy the text and add it under each field. Here yeah, you have to change the field name for each field. Okay. Email. Okay. Continue. Yes, I'll save the file and again check the output. You can see our error message is displaying, but if I don't want to display the message after entering something in the uh, field or element then I have to modify the code which is the step 5 Sorry. 5 add condition to show the error after writing in the field just copy the code and add it each required condition Ampersand. That means when these both conditions are true, then these matches will be displayed. And here also change the field name for each field. It is added for three field and again check. Now you can see our error message is gone. But when I type something, it is green, light green. That means it is valid. So if I empty the field, then it is showing pink color and the error message is displaying. This field is required an email. That means. It is still invalid because it is not a valid email and I have also need to show the error message for invalid email. To do this, go for step 6, add this span tag to show invalid email error message. So add 
added after email request spam okay now check validating for email validation is working or not email is invalid now it is valid go for step 7 add validation code for contact now suppose our contact norm will be between 11 character to 14 character to set this validation we will need two directives in the mean length and in the max length add these uh, two directives in contact norm field so i will add it here ng mean length equal to 11 ng max length equal to 40 save and uh, go for next step add this span tag to show error for mean length and max length so i will add this here Okay, uh, when the contact form is dirty and it is less than mean length, then it will show contact norm can be less than 11. And when the contact element is dirty and it is more than max length, then it will show contact norm can be more than 14. Okay. Okay, now I will uh, check the form finally to check all validation are working or not. Okay, this is valid, this is invalid, now valid, this is valid, and check. Now you can see our submit button is another. Okay, hope this will help you to create form validation, AngularJS validate form and apply in your project. Good luck.